Hi, I'm Andy Davidson. I'm from NetSumo. I'm the CTO at NetSumo. We build uh, networks for service providers, data centers, uh, ISPs of all different sizes. And it's my job to solve the problems that these networks have. And uh, one of the protocols I've been looking at for some time is Trill, because one of the problems that we have to solve most regularly is dealing with layer two networks when they scale. Um, how do we deal with temporary surges in traffic? How do we deal with the cost of links that have to be uh, down for loop prevention and Trill is a protocol that really solves those problems by borrowing features from layer 3 routing, um, introducing shortest path routing across a layer 2 domain, introducing multi-path support for dealing with temporary large volumes of traffic and dealing with fast uh, convergence in the event of a link failure. Many of the problems that we solve are related to virtualization and Trill has been designed on the products that use Trill today have been designed around simplifying the configuration and the uh, network architecture that's required in a large virtualization environment. So dealing specifically with continuity, dealing specifically with uh, spikes in demand and dealing with, uh, with, with scaling rapidly. I'll be talking about the first implementations of Trill which are for sale on the market today and uh, what my customers will be doing with them over the course of the next few years. The, well, the, the vendors who are implementing this today are uh, Brocade with their VDX switching platform and Cisco with the Fabric Path technologies and I'll be talking about uh, the differences between those technologies and also um, some use cases to demonstrate how you might deploy them on your network.